Hey, okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. You gotta bring that shit back. It's good to have you with us. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Golden Baby channel. Today, I have a different kind of video for you guys, but I want to start it off with an interview that Saweetie did with Angela Yee. Well, it wasn't really an interview. It was more so like she they were just talking and Angela was asking her a bunch of questions. But you guys know one of my last videos I did was about the whole thing with Saweetie and Cardi and how people assume that Saweetie and Cardi wasn't really cool like that. And But in the end, it's really nothing. It was just that the media and the fans and, and certain people were just making stuff up basically because it's a drop right now when it comes to female rap and really just a lot of women in the industry right now there's a drought as far as drama goes there's nothing to talk about because for the most part everybody is getting along oh my gosh no the worst thing in the world right yeah but I'm going to show you this clip of Saweetie and Angela Yee and I'm going to let you hear what she had to say about that very quickly and how she and Cardi are probably coming out with a new single very soon and then I saw you had a joke about, because people were trying to act like you and Cardi don't like each other. But then I saw Hennessy said that you guys might be working on something together and that there's been some contact with the teams behind the scenes to do something, right? Yeah, our teams have definitely been talking. I think we're just kind of waiting for that right record. But I think the media just likes to take things out of context. And I'm loving how um, women artists are starting to realize that sometimes it's the media that creates something that's not there. And I think it's just it just shows mature and it just shows growth amongst me and my peers to not be affected by what the media says. So maybe like a pretty bitch. So I wanted to take this opportunity to make a couple of announcements, I guess, about Golden Baby and about a couple of things that's been really pissing me off lately when it comes to what I do here on YouTube. Just hearing this interview from Saweetie and then when I think about that last interview that Megan had when they asked her about the whole Cardi and Nicki drama, it really just put the nail in the coffin for me about something that I've been thinking about for a while as far as what I want to do with this channel. I know I've talked about this in a couple of my live streams before. I know I have probably made um, community posts about this before. So if you are a subscriber who really tunes in all my stuff, you already know how I've been feeling. But I've decided to just come on in a video where more people are going to be notified and just lay it out for y'all. This channel was never made to be a drama channel. My intentions for Golden Baby was to just come on here and have a place for people to discuss certain things as it pertains to women in the media, women's issues, you know, stuff that we go through, and to do documentaries to tell certain women's stories, and to just, you know, have entertainment about just stuff as women and what we go through, and then women in the media, and you know, a little kiki here and there, but mostly just entertaining content with value and somewhere along the line I started talking about a little drama here and there because if you're going to talk about female rappers you're going to probably end up talking about all the drama that goes on with them because let's be real when it comes to the girls the Nikki's and the Cardi's and the Megan's and the city girls and the, there's drama literally almost every day whether it's with each other or whether it's with you know one of them doing something stupid or saying something dumb for me personally the way that I approach talking about drama and stuff like that is I try to tell y'all a story I try to tell y'all like look this is what's going on this is what people are saying this is why they're saying that however people don't know this and this is what I found out and this happened too now this is what I think about it now you come in the comments and tell me what you think about it yes there are some women in the industry some female rappers and just some people overall that I do not like at all but I've never been here to talk about who I don't like and who I do like and play sides with stands and stand wars and things like that I've just I really came here just to make entertaining content and for me I don't want to put myself in the same box as being a T channel or as being a blogger because I am neither I am a commentator I do commentary there is a big difference and I feel as though some of these other channels, no shade to them because they can do whatever it is they want to do to make their coin, but they just do some of these little two minute, three minute videos and it has no real value and they're not really talking about anything, but the video hits for like 
150,000 views and you know they collect their coin and that's that's completely fine but that was never my intentions and what I wanted to do with this channel so I don't want to be grouped in with those people so I've decided that it's really time for me to go back to my roots and make the content that I came on here to make and yes I can still make drama videos from time to time but I'm not about to be one of those media outlets that Saweetie was talking about that feeds into like forcing females to battle with each other and to dislike each other and you know you can't force anybody to do anything but I'm just saying like the feeding into like the whole girls are catty and you know if it's a bunch of females it's gonna be drama and gossip and I don't want to do that I personally don't feel like I've ever tried to start like drama or like make it seem like something that's not. I just gave y'all what's happening and it was really going on. But I understand not being able to differentiate me from other outlets and I'm going to do what I can to change that. And you know, I've talked to a couple of people about making my decision. Just a lot of times I do that just to get other people's opinions and they told me that I was crazy for thinking about stopping the drama thing and it's too much money and the whole talking about drama and gossip to be to just leave it alone. And <laughs> for me, it's not always about money per se. I don't chase money. I chase success and freedom <laughs> from the everyday struggle life. That's what I, I try to chase. But when I really think about it, there's other ways to make just as much, if not even more money here on YouTube even just through the revenue and one of my biggest videos to date is a documentary video so i was also talking to a big big youtuber here who does the same thing they do commentary and well they're more so of a blogger and they told me look if you want to talk about celebrity gossip you got to be a messy messy bitch like you got to be messy to talk about mess if you ain't messy if you ain't a drama like a drama queen yourself it's not going to work for the long run. And she was 100% right. Like, I'm not a messy person in real life. And while I can dabble in it, it's just not, it can't be the centerfold of my channel. It just can't. I'm just not that person. I want this to be a place where we really not only are entertained, but also I want to have content that people can learn from. And I also want to make sure that people know what's going on. Like if I'm going to do content on drama, I always try to make it to where if you're going to have an opinion on X, Y, and Z or him or her, know what happened. Know all the information that's out there for you to see and then make your opinion. I'm not here to make clickbait titles or to just force narratives onto people or celebrities or whoever else just because I want to have something hot and something scandalous, you know, so I can make money or however else or gain notoriety or whatever. Like, I wholeheartedly believe in having an opinion on facts rather than on other opinions. So, anyway, that's all I had to say. Um, I didn't want to make this my first video coming back because I already know I'm out the algorithm, but it's cool. It's whatever. Most of the future drama content will go into Golden Hour. I have not given up on that. I have just had a lot going on, but it will be returning this week and that's it. So let me know what you guys think about this announcement. Let me know, you know, what you guys want to see from the channel and how you feel and I will see you guys in the next video.